So at the end of my videos, I like to share my mantra with you guys. You may have seen it, the learn, do, share popping up on the screen as I say it. I realized in the beginning, I used to do this in a time consuming way that was really cumbersome, messy and not efficient at all. You know what I'm talking about. If you wanted to do the same, you would probably stack layers and layers of text boxes on top of each other in a confusing mess depending on how long your verbiage was, making your timeline look like a hot mess. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do a simple pop-up text animation that will give you a strong foundation to doing this so you can get more creative in the future with the same tools. Let's get into it. So I'm in Premiere Pro 2019. I'll leave a timestamp right now for Vegas Pro users so you can do and learn the basics for this in Vegas Pro. This is one of my previous videos and I'll play it for you. Learn, do, and share. Okay, so wait. Yeah. You can basically see nothing complex, my voice on track two, clearly seeing the division of my words and the top text element. So let's recreate this. I'll mute the current version with an alt E. And I'll just mute the track as well. Bring my playhead to the beginning of the first word. Click on my text tool and click on the screen, preferably in the center because this is where I want my text ahead of time. I'll also extend my text graphic to the end of the word where I know I will stop talking. I'll press my caps lock because I know for this example, I want all my caps on. Type in the first word, learn. Then press on the center align text. Now, I want my word to be bigger. Now I could adjust the size with this slider, but currently it's not going to give me the size that I'm looking for. I'll go back to my selection tool, grab a corner, adjust to the center and resize again if I need to and center. Now I'll go back to my effects controls, go to my source text, and press on the stopwatch so we can animate keyframes for the text. Once it's clicked, you can see how a keyframe came up. That is our first animation for this. And that first animation is the word learn. So now I'll grab my playhead and slide it over to the next word in my wave file, the do, and stop at the beginning of the word do. Back up to my program monitor, double click the word, and now just type in do. And as you can see, it created a new keyframe. Then repeat for the last word. Move my playhead, stop at the beginning of the next word, double click on the word and change it. You will then see the third keyframe. Let's play it back. Learn, do, and share. Okay, so wait. Simple. Now, if you wanted to get fancy, you could go back to those keyframes, change it up. Learn, do, and share. Really simple. Remember, you can get really creative with this if you just take the time to plan it out and understand how it will work with the tools I've shown you. Keep in mind, this is an intro to pop-up, so get a strong understanding of this first. Okay, let's try it in Vegas Pro. Super simple again, same concept. Create a new layer for our text by pressing Control shift q Bring my playhead to the first word, go to Media Generators, Vegas, Legacy, text default. Drag it down, adjust the size of the element, type in your first word, learn, and I'll put the caps on. Select my font, then press animate at the bottom. There you can see our first keyframe is already there. So we will move our playhead, making sure our sync cursor to media timeline is on. When I grab the playhead, you can see it follow on the timeline. Stop in front of the second word, change my word, see the second keyframe, and repeat for the third word. Learn, do, and share. I'll catch you later. Bye. And that's it. You're all done. You now have the basic tools to create your own pop-up text and get creative with it. Hopes this helps you out, and make sure to subscribe and hit that like button so you don't miss out on any other helpful future videos. Guys, until next time, remember, learn, do, share. Take care. Bye.